Hey Libra, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a return of you, welcome back. So we're gonna get into this reading. I see you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. Take what resonates, leave what does not on this table. This is a general reading. If you would like to book a person, my email's in the description box. So this is gonna be the week ahead for you, Libra. Shout out to you guys. Happy birthday if it's your birthday today. Okay. So the week ahead, let's see the overall energy that's crowning your week. Spirit, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, all Libra placements. What is the overall energy kind of their week? We have chaos and conflict. Oh boy, let's see what's going on here with this chaos and conflict this week. 33 could be significant to you, but let's get into this. <laughs> But let's see what this is. This chaos and conflict is about. Spirit, can I have some clarity here for this chaos and conflict for this week ahead for Libra? We have. Oh, it fell. Let's see. But it turned over. So we're going to keep it stylish. Okay. So maybe you'll be looking good, feeling good this week, but blocking out the shade. So make sure you guys are blocking out the shade because the shade could be coming from someone. That is going through some type of chaos and conflict. Someone that doesn't know if they're a horse or a zebra, right? Something that maybe you shouldn't even give your energy to. Let's get one more. It's like you're going to be looking good, feeling good. You guys are great dresses here, very stylish. So it's giving hater energy, okay? And then we have adjustments are required, yeah. So I really do feel like Spirit is wanting you guys to adjust the way that you're seeing things, okay? And again, keep them hater blockers on, block out the shade, any type of shade coming from any type of direction this week, okay? So let's see, let's see what's going on with you guys today. Libra, what's going on with Libra today, Spirit? We have the Four of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so walk, walk away from things that's no longer serving you. All right, some of you guys could be working today. Um, also, there could be someone that is like wanting to give you some type of emotional communication but they could actually be trying to like push your buttons or make you feel bad. So turn your back to that. Also, some of you guys could be doing some cleaning. Um, also, this could have something to do with uh, water sign energy or even like a player type of energy here. So again, like I said, it could be their energy. They're in a nine of swords. What's going on on Monday? We have the page of cups. So some of you guys will be having some romantic love communication here from a new person here. Also, some of you guys could be on the hamster wheel, right? Going to work. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So Tuesday, it's like, Protecting your energy, not giving up. Also, if someone is like working on some type of material where you're like into fashion or fabric in some type of way, they're calling for you guys not to give up. You could have invested in this long term. But there's also like a sneaky, jealous energy in your energy on Tuesday as well. What's going on on Wednesday? We have the nine of cups. So you guys will be having your wishes fulfilled, all right? Some of you guys may be going out for ice cream here. But again, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. So don't give up here. Some of you guys could be like feeling very dreamy here. But we got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. On Wednesday, feeling very dreamy here. What's going on on Thursday? Six of Swords, so some type of divine communication. Also, you could be um, 
receiving some communication things are like getting calmer and smoother for you guys here and i feel like you guys will be able to realize this also hear from the divine okay so make sure you guys are paying attention to that your divine communication here on thursday friday Four Wands. So a lot of stability here. Also, Friday, you could be celebrating a birthday. Ah, that's me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, feeling very stable here. But she got a birthday cake with some candies up there. So your birthday could definitely be Friday, like mine. Shout out to you guys. Saturday. Two of Wands energy. So you guys will definitely be making things happen here. You could also be somewhere on your balcony. If you have a balcony, you could have a very nice view. But some of you guys are going to have some type of clear view or clear vision to make things happen. You could also be traveling to another city or state on Saturday. What about Sunday? We have... The Ace of Pentacles, I like that. So next Sunday, you could be going out for pizza, getting a pizza pie, but some of you guys could be receiving some abundance here. You could be from Italy. You could actually be going to get pizza in Little Italy, okay, if you're from New York City. But let's get some clarity here. I really feel like overall, your week is gonna be very bright, very good. Okay, very calm. You guys are going to be feeling very stable emotionally as well as very confident. Some of you guys are going to be celebrating Friday as well, having a great time here. Some of you guys could also be going to like a pumpkin patch or decorating um, Halloween decorations or something like that here I see on Saturday. But let's see what the vibe, what's the vibe? Yeah, your light is irritating someone's demons this week. So make sure you guys, again, are blocking out the shade. What's the vibe for today? Cold-hearted, transmuting pain into power. So yeah, it's like maybe this is a cold-hearted person. Maybe you're being cold to someone. It's like you're just focused on transmuting pain into power. Some of you guys could have actually like took yourself out on a date here. Again, she has shades on as well. So if this is some type of energy that's trying to make you feel some type of way, it's like icing them out, okay? What's the vibes on Monday with these page of cups? Being manipulated. So there could be an immature masculine energy that's being manipulated by someone. Or if you're this masculine, you could be manipulated by someone here on Monday. An immature feminine here. You could have a daughter with this person. Tuesday. Two cards came out both times. Playing games and outdated ways of thinking, yeah. So some of you guys could be like being called to protect your energy um, also to stop playing games with someone with outdated ways of thinking, or even if that's with yourself, right? Like I said, if you are in some type of business here with clothing and fabric or something like that, you invested in this long term, it's like not giving up and definitely not playing games, allowing these outdated ways of thinking to kind of like wither up and dry out. Okay. And again, it's like, Maybe you have been like taking a break or something here, or maybe you felt like you were like not putting your all into something, but you're being called to not give up. What's the vibes on Wednesday with this nine of cups? Let's do that again. Thank you. Playing on your phone. So, I feel like you guys are going to be in this energy again of having wish fulfillment, seeing things that you were like manifesting in the stars coming into fruition. But you could also have a Pisces energy playing on your phone, okay, in some type of way. 
on Wednesday. You can even be a masculine that can have a, a Pisces feminine playing on your phone, but you're still being called to block out the shade, however it's resonating to you here. Thursday with the Six of Swords, thank you. Reading our old messages. So you may even get some type of communication from someone that's reading old messages between you guys. Could be an Aquarius energy. You could be this Aquarius. Again, that's the main chaos and conflict. It's like an outside energy here. Friday spread. Clown energy. Yeah, so I feel like if you guys felt like you were dealing with some type of clown or someone that was being fake in some type of way by Friday. And it could be this energy here from earlier in the week. I feel like you guys are realizing like someone is very low vibrational. Someone is like playing on your phone, reading old messages, trying to communicate with you. You could even have a feminine here that tries to communicate with you here. But it's like you're realizing that this person is like a clown type of energy. This could also be someone who has like light brown eyes here. Also, there could be the clown energy is also making me feel like a celebration or a party. So you could definitely be attending some type of party here. Maybe even um, some of you could be like going to an early Halloween party. Take it as it resonates to you. Give me one more for this clown energy. Yeah, it's like a liar. It's a masculine, some fake news. <laughs> Will you marry me? There could be someone who was very immature, a liar in your past. Maybe this person is going to attempt to propose to you on Friday or make some type of proposal, maybe to drink, go out drinking. This person is stalking you from fake pages. Ladies, man in reverse. So you could also have someone and addicted to alcohol. You could also have a masculine energy that could be like stalking you from fake pages. This could be a player energy that you dropped. Maybe this person is drinking or again, I said invite you out for drinks. So this person could try to invite you out for drinks here. They could also be going through some type of breakup or something here and that they'll tell you about. Also, this clown energy could be an Aries energy or fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Someone could have a red nose pick. Maybe someone is actually considering buying one on Friday. Take it as it resonates to you. Saturday spirit with the two of wands. What's the vibes with that? Some of you guys will be feeling very good in as far as your mental health is concerned. Also, there could be someone that wants to have friends with benefits with you. Also, there could be someone that you were having friends with benefits that may get arrested on Saturday. Take it as it resonates. But I really feel like you guys are going to be feeling very refreshed, very rejuvenated. You're going to be in a very um, healthy place mentally on Saturday here. Clarify Sunday. Wine and dine you, yeah. So there could definitely be someone that wants to take you out to dinner next Sunday. Someone wants to wine and dine you. This could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Perfect for me. They think you the sprinkles on their donuts. All right. So there could also be... Donuts and pizza, ice cream this week, birthday cake, all of that good stuff. So let's see what your romance angels have to say about the week ahead for you guys. The week ahead for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, all Libra placements. The week ahead for Libra, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this week, you guys are going to be... Feeling very passionate, again, even when it has to do with your work or your creative projects, whatever your passion project is, you guys are going to be feeling very happy here. You may even be like finding yourself or catching yourself singing a lot this week here. Also doing things from your crown chakra, 
and also from your heart chakra and also following the guidance of your soul doing what makes your soul happy here there could also be um some passion here between you and the earth angel masculine here the week ahead for libra true love This is a romance of a lifetime. So some of you guys will definitely be engaging in some passionate connection with a true love. You can even have this person that's playing on your phone. Maybe they feel like they're your true love. You're going to be hugged up with somebody. Somebody that doesn't want to play games. Also, your true love, your passion, whatever your true love is in regards to passion... It's going to be at the forefront this week, they're saying. Romance angels, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life this week. And unrequited love, it was in reverse. So, this whatever this is, this love, there's going to be a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction. All right? This relationship is going to keep going here. But again... Divine timing is at work in your love life this week. Give your relationship a chance. Yeah, so you'll be giving your relationship a chance with some um, earth angel masculine, okay? And you could be this feminine earth angel here. Working on a partnership with someone. But again, divine timing is at play in your love life. So don't be trying to like rush the divine. Spirit, what's going on with Libra this week? The week ahead. Some of you guys could be mending a friendship here or a, a love relationship at some point in time this week. What do you want them to know about divine time and being at work in their love life this week? Often. So in the past, some of you guys could have been feeling left out here. That's going to change. Loyal heart. Worth waiting for. 35 could be significant to you. 5 could be significant. Your birthday could be October 5th. Okay, you could be turning 35 or you are 35. Also, 8. Also, someone could be turning 58. Someone could be born in 1985. Take it as it resonates to you. So, divine timing is at work in your love life so that you could be in a connection with someone who has a loyal heart just like you. Also, someone could want to be loyal and faithful to you here this week. <laughs> All of them fell, but none of them turned over. We have flexible. All right, so be flexible this week. Open to the idea of love. Open to the idea of going out on a date. Open to the idea of celebrating with someone. Give me one for the loyal heart. Clean it up. Yeah, mending. Yeah, the divine is cleaning up something here. And then we have yin energy. So the divine is cleaning up some type of union, okay? And again, there could definitely be some reconciliation energy here. You could be in the same sex if you're a feminine. And then divine feminine energy. So be open to receive this week. When it comes to love, when it comes to relationships, giving your relationship a chance. Someone may take you out and then they'll talk about working on a partnership together here. And then we have to the sea, which is equivalent to the six of swords energy. So pay attention to the divine. Make space in order to hear from the divine because he's going to give you some communication. All right. So anything else you want them to know for the week ahead? The week ahead for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. What is their advice here? Expect powerful change. So there's definitely going to be some type of powerful change. Um, new moon eclipse. So there could be some type of eclipse here. And then there's going to be powerful change. What is their advice for the week ahead? Work through your fears. You could have a Scorpio moon. Maybe there's a Scorpio that's working through their affairs or someone with the Scorpio moon. But working through your affairs this week. Advice for Libra for the week ahead. 
your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. You can have a Capricorn moon. So if you guys have been putting in some type of work here, regardless of how it resonates here, your hard work is paying off. Especially if it's about your passion, your business. It's like you're not playing games with yourself. You're going after your wish fulfillment. And surrender to the divine. I mean, what more can I say? Y'all know when I hear them say that, that be it. So surrender to the divine this week, okay? I send you guys much love and light, and I'll see you in the next one.